Yes, I'm back. <laughs> it's been what almost a year. Yeah, my bad. Anyways, but uh, today I'm gonna start with a new topic, uh, and it's called vermicomposting. jumping in in vermicomposting already, I just want to tell you guys what vermicomposting is. So vermicomposting is the process that you use worms as uh, red wrigglers to help you and produce soil. Yeah, so vermicomposting can happen in many different ways. As you guys can see behind me here, I have a worm factory and I have a worm bee. They are mostly the same uh, but with different perspectives. So this one is more industrial so you can have more volume of worms and this one is just for your home so you can manage your organics in a good scale and no problem with that. The reason why I started decided to record this video and actually record more videos about vermicomposting is because of the feedback I have been getting from people. Because um, I started selling those worms because uh, my worm factory is producing a bunch of them. Um, and then I also started doing these workshops where I teach people how to build their own a vermicomposting bean and then when I was getting a hold of people they were all asking about videos about instructions and so, so I was like yeah you know what I should start doing that so here I am uh, so uh, this video will be mainly focused on what I feed my worms with if you come here there's all sorts of stuff that I have been gathering because I cook a lot so yes but first let's take a look here First, the first layer, second layer, there's nothing. Look at them there. Here is the working tray. So they are all around. All cuties. Eating a lot. Anyways, so what I have here are pomegranate. Popcorn, kernels, banana peels, uh, onions, more pomegranate, eggshells, they love to hide on those things so it's really good. Uh, what is there? Squash, carrots, more onions. Squash seeds. So yeah, you guys see here is like really diversified. Uh, apple cores, eggshells, and they really love this stuff. And that's mm. dirt. <laughs> I will harvest. I harvest a little bit of the dirt. So over there is not very full, but. Probably you guys noticed that was just vegetables uh, and fruit so that's important for you guys to know uh, there's three tips of how to feed, feed your worms the first one is uh, avoiding fats and oils because that will get stuck on their warm skin and then they're not gonna be able to breathe and then they, of course they will die the second one is to avoid protein uh, animal protein so beef meat fish because it's kind of hard for the worms to eat this uh, so the proteins will end up staying in the bin for a long time and that will attract um, animals it will smell bad so avoid this animal protein and the third one is avoid citrus uh, so lemon oranges limes avoid these things because there's a citric acid on those things and since the worms have a really sensitive skin that will harm them so avoid this um, so yeah if, if you saw uh, other than these three little uh, things everything else you can feed them with right so if you cook a lot at home uh, if you drink a lot of coffee uh, then you're perfect. So I think that's it for today guys um, 
and uh, stay tuned because I'll be posting more videos especially when I am about to build another of those beans I will be recording too so you guys can see the steps and how do I start and but that's it for managing it all right awesome guys uh, and since you guys are on my channel probably if this is the first video you guys are watching for me probably gonna find that this is that I'm gonna say now is weird but if you look uh, and you watch the other videos you will understand uh, so here I go so have a great day have a great night and don't be a waster thank you and um, adult a worm <laughs> thank you bye